All right, YouTube, so I'm back, and I mean, I'm back. It's been a while. I got a bunch of stuff for you guys. I mean, I just picked up the Canon 80D, you know, so just, just, I got a couple lenses in the back. Just be ready. I'm about to be coming with a lot more fresher, better content. Leave this iPhone life alone for a bit. There she is, there she is, there she is. All right, all right, straight to the agenda. So, um, I finally, finally started figuring out more about this screen, right? Somebody, if you know about the CLS, man, I gotta change my back battery. If you know, a good deal or where I could find it for a fair price. I think I could probably pull it off myself. There's a tutorial. Help me out. Help me out. Okay, but back to the main thing. The Android screen. It's been forever since I made a video. Dude, I've learned so much. Let's get to it real quick. All right, so you see the theme. First things first, I learned how to get on the, there's a, <clears throat> I'm a Mercedes guy, but there's a Beamer form. And those guys have been doing a really, really good job, a fantastic job tracking all the updates, tracking the different models, makes, vendors, you know, everything. They've been doing a great job with all that. So with that being said, I went to their website, checked it out, checked out the Beamer form, uh, grabbed the latest firmware, grabbed the factory config file that they had for the Mercedes, and I also grabbed the latest MCU. So yeah, this is the first time I've started doing my updates without going through DMP. And man, I, I have no complaints. So let's get deeper into it. All right, so first things first, this firmware, those, these guys are epic. So I go into my settings, um, still kept the same settings. You go to factory. Before mine was like 1906, 27. I think that's what I have, uh, whatever it's called. Now it's just zero, bro. Now it's just zero, can't forget that shit. Get into there. Clearly, I got I got these things checked, right? But clearly, the car play didn't start automatically. Still gonna figure that out. Once I figure that out, I feel pretty good. I think that might have something to do with the factory config as well. Just not taken. So just to give you a quick go through of my settings. Um, again, guys, if y'all see something, you're wondering how it works or it shouldn't work or it's wrong, or I'm still trying to figure this out for myself. So let me know. Um, just going through my settings real quick, showing you guys what I got going on. Look at that, look at that, boom, boom. The car display, the one I have right now is the NTG 5 7 inch 2016 half screen. That's the one you saw at the beginning of the video. Um, the cam protocol, it's always been that, I never changed that. Uh, so yeah, taking their config files and taking their firmware, I got a lot more UI selections course i'm a benz guy but i've i have not went through all of these i'm not gonna lie, i have not went through all these i have messed with the the benz ones this one's the one that we get with the unit these two are kind of dated kind of they bring back the retro look but the one i got right now was actually this one the gs i mean it seems pretty cool it looks like that flow ui that's all over the facebook forum but yeah it's pretty cool uh other than that so the profile import thing as you can see, I got the new one. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. So, well, no, I'm not gonna show you. I'm gonna go through what I had to do. So, first things first, if you're not an Android guy, it might throw you off how this stuff actually works. So I went into the ES File Explorer. I don't think we have root access. You have to come here into this folder here, the main welcome folder, and create a folder called OEM. In that OEM folder is where you're gonna drag your new config file when i was trying to do it in the main folder the root folder it wouldn't let me do it it said i didn't have write permissions so that's that's the first thing that i had to do next part on the update was what else i had to do i had to get some other stuff done um i got the new dashboard ui it's pretty cool it, it kind of hangs actually the speed is like it's variable in like three miles per hour sometimes i don't know if it's three or five but it doesn't keep up i'll show you guys when i do that for a drive again this is just a Show you guys what I've been up to, just to give you guys a follow up. I've been, I've been, I've been out and about the time. I think it's currently wrong. It is wrong by like two hours. Got to fix that too. A lot of things. I haven't been driving the car that much, man. 
Uh, but I'm telling you, with this new firmware and getting the factory config file from those guys and importing it, I have been way better off. So do it, do it, do it. So I'm Boom. telling you guys, I got lots of things going on. Moves are being made. So I took off my TSW. Those are the number rings. They're forged wheels. Um, 20 by 8 and a half, 20 by 10s. Uh, they're not for the Mercedes. They're actually for my Infinity. Well, they were for my Infinity. Who is sadly going to be leaving? She is up for sale. Um, anybody who's interested, you know, hit me up. Hit me up in the comments. I do have the center caps. They're just black. That's plastic. That peels right off. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, 73,500 miles. What a great car she's been. But um, yeah, she has to go to make space for what a new addition to the channel. As you can see, I got the 2021 F-150. Be ready. There's going to be tons of stuff coming out. I got an XLT. I ain't balling like that. I didn't get a Lariat. Made some mistakes, but I'm actually happy with the truck I got. It's the number. I'm going to show you guys a big screen in a little bit. Again, man, 2021 F-150 xlt with the big screen excuse the fingerprint i got the fold down got the fold down the fold down with the flop boom boom surf works surface whatever they call work so let me zoom out work surface got the cups in the back you know what i'm saying like man honestly the only reason why i got this is for that man like it's getting tighter in cars i mean i'm six foot 215 pounds i need the space no panel roof. This is how I like it. I don't want them to break it on me. It's a brand new truck. The only thing I really have to worry about is this, that, and the turbo is killing me in 60,000 miles. Definitely happy. Great truck, man. I mean, just expect more content as it comes. It's a 2021, so there ain't much to do to it. But, you know, XLT, bro. Got the, I got this in there, man. You know, you got the wireless CarPlay now, so I think I'm actually hooked up. Yeah, so you got the wireless CarPlay now. So now I had to, you know, put that in there so I could wireless charge my phone because I didn't get the wireless charger. But yeah, man, a lot of videos coming soon. I'm going to get back on it. I'm sorry for the, the ghosting, but uh, be ready and expect more. Peace.